Hi, and welcome to Elementary Music with Donna. I am Donna Rodenizer. As a music teacher in November, I know that the responsibility is great to find music and material that focuses around the act of remembrance and Remembrance Day or Veterans Day uh, assemblies and activities. This is an original composition that I wrote uh, not for Remembrance Day, just as a focus on peace and and hope and um, a child wishing for things that would be uh, more laughter and a safe place for children to play and less war and more peace and that kind of thing. And someone, um, not me, actually, the first time that I ever heard it used at a Remembrance Day assembly, it was a colleague of mine, and they said, oh, I just love this piece of music that you wrote for Remembrance Day. And I said, oh, well, I didn't write it for Remembrance Day, but it does work, so I used it myself, and it, it's a, a great piece to do that. We are very pleased to be able to offer a package of materials that go with this song, and I'm hoping that there's something in this package that will be able to help you in your teaching situation. If you are somewhere where you're continuing to be able to sing with your students, great, you will be able to sing along with this. If you are a teacher where uh, singing is restricted. There's still things in this package of materials that I think you can use to be able to continue to deliver great musical content with your kids um, around the theme of remembrance. So in this I'm Wishing Super Pack you will find printed music for the students, so just the vocal part, they can follow along. You will find a piano accompaniment part. You will find a flute score. The flute score is there because we also have accompaniment tracks that come out of a CD that was created through our Donna and Andy CD efforts and uh, so you have the actual performance track from the Computer Cat CD and the actual accompaniment track that we used in the studio to create our CD and so that has flute, piano and a beautiful counter melody in a cello um, threading throughout with the piano part. The song is actually performed by my niece Jenna, who was 12 at the time, and myself. So you've got vocal modeling with a child's voice as well as there's an alto part that I add in, a call and response kind of harmony part you can do with your students if you wish, but it also works really well. It's just straight through unison. There are also piano tracks that one of them is just the piano and the other one is the piano with the vocal line being played. This is great for voice studios where you want the student to have some music to be able to practice with um, and it's not um, got a lot of extras added to it but then when you get to a performance situation then you can have the full um, support of the extra instruments as well. What else are we including in this pack for you? Oh! There is also uh, a coloring page which Pre-COVID, I never would have used coloring pages in my classroom, but now where you're not able to sing and if you want to provide a focus for your students, if they are coloring, they can be listening and coloring at the same time to, to create a focus for them. If you're at home doing homeschooling, it's a great time to, to set your kids up to, to color and to listen as they um, are internalizing the words uh, at home. Hopefully, they'll be singing along. I really, 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 really want to encourage you to continue having um, your children to sing whenever possible. And if they can't do that at school safely, they really need to be doing that at home. Um, and if you are not a confident singer at home with your students, then Don and Andy CD performance track can help you because you don't have to sing. You just put it on and, and uh, let your child sing along with Jenna and with me. If you are in a school where you aren't able to sing and you want to create something for an assembly at your school or a presentation for Remembrance Day or Veterans Day, you could actually use that uh, performance track where Jenna and I are singing and you can have your students create some art and put those two things together so that the presentation involves actually the singing of a song, although not live, but art that's been provided by students in your school. So it's a way of kind of um, continuing presentations for assemblies around the theme of remembrance. And uh, there are also activities that are provided as part of this super pack 
They are music, language arts, science, math, technology, a whole range of subject areas. Some of them are music activities, um, but it's a great way to start with a piece of music and then branch out um, into other areas. Again, especially if you're homeschooling and looking for educational and informative things for your children to do, you can start with music and then branch out. The activities for the music part of it, some of them don't involve singing, so you can add instruments on certain words. You can actually use a sort of a rainbow shape with your hand and trace in the air as the phrases are being sung. So it's a way of teaching children about phrasing. You can play instruments on certain beats, and so you can isolate and work on certain elements of the music while they're hearing it, but not singing. So lots and lots of things that you can do with this piece of music, introduced because it can be used for Remembrance Day, but it can continue on well beyond that and outside of the month of November for sure in your classroom or at home, wherever you're making music with your kids. If you are looking for additional songs, I'm wishing is only one of 12 songs that are part of the Computer Cat um, song collection. So the CD that I referred to is performance tracks and accompaniment tracks for all of the songs in Computer Cat. In these days where it's hard to get mail around the world, we also have an ebook option for this so we can get that to you through ebook. And all of the tracks for Computer Cat plus two other CDs that we have created through Donna and Andy recording efforts are available on our DonnaandAndy.com uh, membership page where you can download and stream. So there's lots of opportunities to get some music for use with your, your students in your classroom or your kids at home and we hope that through all of that we can be of some assistance in the music making that's going on for you wherever you are and whatever your circumstance. Have a great day making music and make music a great part of your day.